Hey everybody and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Before we begin, if you'd like to help out a fellow zombie slayer and subscribe to this channel, that'd be really great. Also, if you find this video entertaining and informative, why not give it a like and also share it? I deeply would appreciate that too. I really would. Today, we're doing another chapter into the storm called Encore. There was like six missions you got to do in this, and I had a lot of fun doing this. You, I got like three storm llamas just from completing this whole thing. Not to mention you get to pick a new hero at the very end. Pretty cool. Okay, enough chatter. Let's dive into this and start with the very first mission. Here we go. Okay guys, and the very first mission is called I Spy, and what Lars needs you to do is go and find six telescope parts, and you can do this in cities, suburbs, or industrial area. I did it industrial, I was looking to get a lot of steel and brick. Um, I had to do this in two missions, it just seemed like it, I couldn't get it done in one, because I, I mean, I scoured this entire map trying to do this in one mission, and I didn't, it just seemed like it was, wasn't going to happen. Um, just run along the rooftops, or look on your mini-map, and you'll be able to find these pretty easily enough. Um, it's pretty cool and once you get it done you get 500 storm tickets and Ray and Lars will give you the next part of the mission as soon as you get all six okay I'll let you all listen and after that let's go onwards Part 2 of the mission is called What's a Payphone, and the Hover Fleet are calling back with their reports to Ray. Um, again, do this in cities, suburbs, and industrial zones. Um, you need to find 7 payphones, and when you do, Ray will give you the next part of the mission, and you'll get 500 storm tickets. Not bad, and that's what they look like right there. And when you activate it, I'll let you all listen, and let's continue on to the next mission. Alright guys, next part of the mission is called Iron Van, and basically what Ray wants to do is upgrade Lars's van so Lars can drive it into the storm. We're going to try and find Carlos, I guess. Um, what she needs you to do is to find 30 insulators from electrical transformers, so basically you're going to have to do only do this in industrial areas. Um, don't worry about trying to find 30 of them, you can do this in one mission. As you can see, there are transformers everywhere in an industrial zone. And yes, some of them do drop two at a time, which I'm going to show you here in just one second. Um, at the end of the mission, you get 100 V-Bucks, so this is definitely worth doing. So, like I said before, um, I found this place right here, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, cool, you know. There's it's bound to be something here, right? So, I was kind of confused because nothing was glowing here, but when I went in here, boom, right there it is. Okay, so, yeah, let me get that steel. And then when I busted this one here, I got, did get two from it. So I got like six out of the four pylon, electrical pylons that are in here. I got like six of these electrical things. Not bad. Not a bad deal. I got this done in one mission, like I said. And once you get all 30, Ray will give you the next part of the mission. All right, let's continue on. Onwards. Okay, guys, next part of the mission is called Steel Icarus, and basically what you have to do is launch Lars into the storm. Now, this mission right here is a little bit tricky. Um, when You can't just go into the map and just hit Ride the Lightning and expect to get this done. And What I did was, is I had a feeling I was supposed to go here and hit play now. I looked at it and I was like, eh, I'm going to hit play now. And look what happened when I did. Boom. Sent me to a special map. It's just like Ride the Lightning, but it sent me to a special map just for this mission. If you don't do this, you probably won't get it done. And yeah, there, there's also a little more to this, but just make sure you do this first part right here, and then we'll continue on, and I'll show you something else you have to do when you do get into this mission. So, here we go. Lars, I've heard your concerns, and I've passed on van upgrade duty to a team of highly trained construction bots who are currently lost. But I'm sure they will do a very good job once you find out where they've wandered off to. Track down those construction bots when you're ready. You search, I'll scan. Okay guys, and part two of Steel Icarus here is basically what you just heard, Ray wants you to go around the map and find six of these construction bots and they've been like deactivated or whatever. This is easy enough. If you look on your mini map, you'll see a little robot head or whatever, and they just look like boxes. And right there it is. 
you get near it it just turns on and it'll do that kind of, kind of looks like the health bot and then it'll deactivate and then you just hit it and boom that's all there is to it and it'll go and it'll all six of them will go to Lars's van and once you uh, defend the van and launch Lars into space that'll be it you'll get your reward which turns out to be 500 storm tickets and you'll continue on to the next part of the mission okay onwards okay guys uh, next part of the mission is called van down and basically what this is is Lars's van you get it up and running and it goes up and his systems start to crash and he, he needs to get his systems up and running by collecting five backup data servers and you can do this in cities and industrial areas that's what they look like right there and once you get that you get all five of them you get 500 storm tickets and Ray and Lars will give you the final part of this whole entire mission so let us continue on All right, guys, final part of the mission is called Reunion Tour. And basically what you're going to do here is defend four telescope arrays from the oncoming zombie horde. And you have to defend it. It's just like Fight the Storm. You have to put defenses around these four telescopes and defend them against the zombies. And once you do, you get your hero. Here's the thing. Where do you go to do that? I had no idea. So what did I do? Again, this might be a little confusing. I hit play now and boom there I am see and it's called watch the skies and this is where it gets really cool okay this is where it gets awesome uh, it's a desert and if you haven't played any of the you know three day storm and seven day storm this is gonna be really really fun okay this is just the tip of the iceberg let me show you what it's like alright guys like I said before if you haven't done the three or seven day storm the new event um, then this will be your first experience in a desert like it was for me. Uh, this was really awesome. Visually, I was just eating this up. And it, just the whole feel of the place was great. Um, as you can see, you do have a little over a six minute time limit to build your defenses against the zombie horde. I couldn't help it. I had to explore and look around. I mean, there's a new type of flower in here. It gives you the same stuff as the regular flowers do. But except that the flowers just look blue. Um, yeah, but this is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of materials and a lot of ore and stuff like that all over the place. And I had a blast doing this. Okay, so once you defend, and you, see, you can see my compadres there, they're building everything up. Once you defend against the zombie horde and you win, you will get your new hero. So let's go and take a look at the new heroes. Alright guys, you get to pick one, so let's take a look at him here. Uh, Bulletstorm Jonesy uses high magazine weapons to build up attack speed and mow down enemies. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, heavy Base Kyle, constructor focused on taking down enemies with base to charge up a great energy Nova. Pretty sweet. Let's move on. Harvester Sarah, a close range scythe ninja who uses smoke bombs and shadow stance to survive on the battlefield. Pretty, pretty cool. And the last one is... Ted Shot Jess deploys Teddy to provide covering fire while sniping foes from a distance. Um, this one and Heavy Base Kyle's are the only one I don't have, so I had to choose only one. I can only pick any, any one between these two, so I went with Heavy Base Kyle because I do love constructors. So let us take a look at him right now. And here he is, guys. Okay, I am going to get off here, and I'm going to let you check out all his stats and everything like that. And uh, yeah. Let me know your experiences Leave in the comments below. And this has been great. I'm going to get back to grinding. I'm going to let you all go. You all take a check out Kyle here. And I will catch you in the next one. My name is I Am Death on Two Feet. But hey, you guys can call me Feet. Later.